Let's call Eric. Hmm. He doesn't answer. Eric speaking. Hi, Eric. Janko speaking. Hi, Janko. So, are you ready for a new adventure, my friend? Yeah, I'm so excited to having this road trip and then a great track day in Norway. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So, see you there. So here we are on our way to actually Norway. Again, Norway hits me in my Porsche life. Heading for Rudskogen, a racetrack in the southeast of Norway. And um, well, I'm in a convoy with the Porsche Center Stockholm, just passing Karlskoga. Remember, yeah, it was a racetrack. That's the hometown of that spe spectacular race, um, race circuit. And uh, yeah. We're looking forward for a nice dinner later today. Let's put the window down for a second. Ooh. Just enjoying the Porsche Lyle. Porsche journey, Porsche everything. <laughs> Ooh. Amazing this uh, Linz chassis that uh, gives so much traction on the track but then on the same time gives a huge comfort when you when you uh, drive to the circuit Oof. so amazing nothing to complain here I tell you this much we ended up at the hotel and I must admit first stop at a hotel close to the racetrack is not wrong dinner with friends and talk until the kitchen is closed so it's time to go to bed and you know what that means early up tomorrow six in the morning racetrack edition so finally we get the chance to drive on Rudskogen and immediately we start with damp conditions, ladies and gentlemen. Not that nice. My premiere at Rudskogen will then be in damp condition, but nevertheless, let's try to do the best out of it uh, to feel the track and feel a powerful feel to really drive the track. Heading out on a new track that you have never driven before in damp condition, you need a proper tool. <laughs> I cannot stress enough how much comfort you have with the uh, Cayman Tia because even in these conditions it kind of gives me a lot of trust. It really does. The 996 GT3 RS is for many people the ultimate RS model. The funny thing is that if you compare the numbers between the 996 RS and my Cayman, the resemblance could not be mistaken. Same weight and newton meter of torque, less horsepower, but my access to the torque is always present. The, the lightness in the Cayman T that you have is so beautiful. Ooh. Straight line, quick on the gas. Ooh, you have it. Slippery, but still extremely balanced car. After just a few laps on Rudskogen, you understand its difficulties and that's what it takes to make an exciting racetrack. Look at this part of the track, how it bends up towards the slope, moving the balance between the car to left and right. But rarely do we thank the designer. Oh yeah, 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 it is a beautiful track. Thank you, Michael Schumacher, for providing us with this part in Rudskogen. One of the best drivers in the history of racing is one of the designers of Rudskogen. I started to pick up speed and it was time for some reflections. Installing the Ullins road and track chassis is not just for professional drivers or let's say advanced uh, amateurs, no. The car communicates much better with this chassis and you know, as a teacher, when you try to develop your driving, a Linz chassis really helps you. This is the best upgrade I've done for a very long time. Together with the Cup 2 and HRE wheels, it even creates a 
total different level. The grip that these tires pr produces are spectacular, but that we already know, that's discussed all over the world. But one surprise is actually the HRE wheels, because I feel difference in the weight. Ridiculous. I know these are quite expensive, but they are worth every penny, if you ask me. There are so many perks with HRE wheels. One of them that I find very amusing is each time I go on a track day, I kind of lost these caps, but together with the wheels, I got this, you know, circle thing that I can attach all the caps on and I will keep track of them. Oof, now I'm just checking the tire pressure. Ooh, 2.10, I think that's perfect towards my car with this setting. I have five click on the Orleans damper all the way. I haven't differences between front and rear and so far it feels really good. With the deliveries of the first 982 GT4 taking place around the world, I cannot help thinking that my Cayman T is in the same league or perhaps even better. Yes, I know we have not yet driven a GT4, but this is something to follow up on when the spring arrives. What a spectacular day I've had. If you are in Norway and, uh, you know, pay a visit to Rudskogen Racetrack, uh, the track surprised me with the bends and uh, yeah, I had a spectacular time. Thank you Michelin for hosting me to this event. Thank you Porsche Center Stockholm in Sweden for providing such a beautiful event and the hospitality that you provide. Mm -hmm.